Pushing the weather is one of the most common and fatal mistakes in mountain flying. For instance, a forecast of sunshine with scattered afternoon towering cumulus can lead to trouble in the mountains. When that type of cloud forms over your route, it might not be possible to fly around it or over it. You can also expect rain under it, and with the ensuing reduced visibility, the only option will be to turn around and wait it out. The key is to try not to allow yourself to be in that type of scenario from the onset. Learn as much as you can about your en route weather before you take off, and the chances of completing your planned trip will be better. Another important component of weather is wind. You can see and avoid clouds and weather en route, but you cannot actually see and therefore avoid wind while flying in the mountains. And wind is much more of an issue in the mountains because mountains interfere with the flow of air and can create powerful updrafts, downdrafts, and turbulence. For example, wind striking a ridge will be forced upwards, causing an updraft. An aircraft flying on the upwind side of a valley will experience quicker climbs and higher ground speeds, but may also experience more turbulence than if it flew above the ridge. The reverse happens on the lee side of a ridge, where the air flows downward, causing a downdraft. It's not uncommon to encounter downdrafts that exceed a small aircraft's climb capability. When encountering a strong downdraft, turn away from the ridge towards the center of the valley. This will remove you from the descending air and also provide more height above the terrain. Maintain your airspeed and resist pulling back on the controls to maintain a level altitude and to avoid a stall. In the mountains, localized factors can also influence the wind direction. Winds are funneled by valleys and may be redirected by as much as 90 degrees in a valley from its original direction above the ridge. As a result, there may be significant differences in wind direction above the ridge than below it. These localized micro weather patterns may cause wildly varying wind speeds and directions. It's not uncommon to find wind socks at opposite ends of mountain strips pointing in completely different directions. There's a lot to keep in mind about weather when flying in the mountains. Check the forecast thoroughly before you depart. Keep tabs on it en route. Be aware of winds throughout your flight and especially at your destination. And be prepared to change your plans if Mother Nature throws you a curve.